job. Tanner! Uh, Jones. Man, you look like crap. Man, this is just too weird. Hello drivers, today is the ninth anniversary of Driver San Francisco. But today we are going even more back in time by taking a look at the Driver San Francisco Alpha build and compare it to the final version on PC. We already talked about the menu design difference last month, so we will focus today on the gameplay footage of the introduction of the game. The footage was recorded by Mr. Pibol, big thanks to him. The in-game part of the introduction cutscene is clearly not finished and can sometimes completely stop after being very laggy. Now we are in Tanner's car and we can already see that the picture in picture uses a different model for Tanner. The graphics are also different with a frame rate way more unstable than we are used to in the final version. The color filters are also different but keep in mind that it's already the case between the final console and PC version as the PC port was made by Ubisoft Kiev. You can see old advertisement billboards in the scenery just as the ones in the E3 2010 build. The cutscenes are sometimes slightly different, especially the in-game part as you can expect, with different camera angles for example. But the biggest change in my opinion is subtle, but during the helicopter hijacking you can actually hear the cameraman screaming after Leila cut the rope supporting him. Every five minutes on SF News. Just keep us right where we are. During the van chase sequence, you can see that the rubber banding wasn't there yet as it's very easy to stay close to Jericho even with Mr. Pinball clearly not driving very well. At the end, you can even see Jericho Van disappears in front of you before the alleyway. The crash at the end of the alleyway is also different and you can see it's unlike the fade to black in the final version. You also see a brief shift segment that shows Jericho's van getting away. It was replaced in the final version by the defibrillator sequence, making it weird that Tanner knows where Jericho went without actually seeing him. You all right, man? Yeah, fine. Let's go. Going to Jericho shows that even if the barriers were already there, the city was way more open than in the final game. And the path taken in the Alpha can't be followed in the final version to do a red wall blocking the exit of the highway. Whoa. 
I don't see why they done this by restricting to that extent the levels because you can still use another exit of the highway but that makes it just more difficult to use the highway in the first place. You can also notice on the highway that some buildings and objects such as signs or big cones have been removed and that the field of view is a little bigger in the alpha showing more of the city. The ambulance transition is different, not showing Tanner's ID and so on. The biggest difference however is right after with the Alpha featuring a pre-mission screen just like the mission later in the game, not the different icon and color used for this action mission. In final, the mission just starts without transition and I think it's better for the flow and the mood of the introduction. Tanner isn't losing a lot of earth rate in the Alpha and it's easy to go to the destination with more than 50 bits per minute left. But the hospital was far from completion in the Alpha and it doesn't have any exterior signs showing it's an hospital beside the ambulance vehicles parked. On that point, it's better in the final. Later on, the shift in production and tutorial is a bit different with more cinematic transition in the final than the WoW teleport in the Alpha. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Try what? Believe me, I'm not sure myself, but here goes. <gasps> How am I up here? Oh my god. I'm falling. I gotta get down. Okay, focus, focus. There. Okay. Yes! You can also see that the shift highlight is whiter in the alpha, less pronounced in the final version. No biggie. Okay, just pick another car. I've got to do. Okay, I'm beginning to get the hang of this. Boom! Yes! Let's end this video with the introduction of the Mission City that was clearly not finished design-wise on the Alpha version. Again, we can see a different icon and color for it while it's more unified in the final game with the mission's icons being all yellow. Oh man, now that's more my style. You can see this mission was rewriting with willpower that has a different yellow icon, which was changed in the final with a blue one. And that's it for today, there is still a lot to tell about the alpha build of Dover San Francisco so be assured I will continue the comparison video in the future. You can still enter the giveaway to win a copy of Dover San Francisco on PC by liking and retweeting the tweet in the description. I would like to thank my current trade weavers, DriverDimension.com, Fresh Contact, Neurosyn, Stake Online YouTube and the SkyCC TV for their precious support. If you want to support the channel as well, please click on the join button below the video. And of course, thanks for watching and see you soon, drivers.